In today's SNG explains we will look at the new carbon tax imposed by the European Union. The carbon border adjustment mechanism. Carbon must have its price because nature cannot pay this price anymore. And this carbon border adjustment mechanism should motivate foreign producers and EU importers to reduce their carbon emissions while ensuring that we level the playing field in a WTO compatible way. As the European the Union clears the decks to impose a carbon tax on steel and aluminium products, including those imported from India, Delhi plans to retaliate by measuring the European Union's decades of carbon emissions embedded in products imported from there. Less than four months from now, the European Union will begin implementing a special tax on imports of steel. The tax is rather pompously titled Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism. It measures the content of carbon embedded in various products including steel and aluminium and taxes accordingly. India says it will be hit hard since it exports over $8 billion of steel and related products to the European Union. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, very uh, uh, strange or rather unfair for the, for the EU to come up with this proposal uh, and, and this actually appears as another market access barrier in the EU apart from all others that, they, that, 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 that exist. The point is that if you have a, a, a tax which is one size fits all, that you are treating every country as a pollution haven and they are emitting you know, very high levels of emission and that uh, justifies the tax that the EU wants to put at the border, uh, it's not fair. So you have to, you have to Look, look at the whole issue in a, in a differential framework to see how much different countries are emitting. And if they at all want to uh, put a tax, it should be uh, based on that, that logic. India says the EU tax is not compatible with WTO rules. But let me, let me uh, uh, say that this whole thing is not, not fair uh, uh, because uh, there are no uh, there is no framework of rules uh, which allows the EU to impose such kinds of taxes because, you know, the framework of rules that we have for, for, for trade is really uh, provided by the WTO, the, the, the ex extensive set of rules that we have. You know, by and large, it's the WTO determined, uh, uh, you know, rules. But in the WTO, the issue of the linkage between trade and environment is, is still not settled. It's still an unsettled issue. Uh, how it is going to be linked, all these negotiations have to take place. And finally, then you have to come to uh, a, a conclusion. You can't really jump the gun and say suddenly that, you know, I have found a linkage between trade and environment and, and I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to use it. Now that's going to be patently unfair. Reports say India is now planning to retaliate in a similar manner by measuring the carbon content in products it buys from the EU. India also plans to file a complaint with the WTO against the EU carbon tax decision. The irony is, India and the European Union are expected to finalise a free trade agreement by early next year and a round of negotiations has already been held in Delhi earlier this month. Look, uh, India and EU are currently negotiating uh, a free trade agreement. Yeah? And uh, I think uh, these discussions, whatever uh, we uh, we are talking now uh, okay, it's, uh, between EU and India. Uh, this should be part of the discussions or negotiations in the FTA, and we should find some common ground uh, through these FTAs. Uh, so I think it, for India, at least uh, countering the EU, uh, I would think that India, the government of India, in the negotiations, has to make this point that we are on the pathway to reduce emissions. And we are going to be doing this, maybe the way you have done it in the EU, we'll uh, create a, a carbon market and uh, do the same way that you are. But we need a period of transition, maybe give us five years, uh, 
between now and maybe 2028 or the end, end of uh, the decade where we will be able to by when we will be able to put this functional system in place so i think if we can uh, work this into our fta negotiations for the moment this threat that you is posing uh, is 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 not going to be there and i and i hope we can do that stay tuned for more such topics on sng explains watch our previous sng explains on our channel we will be back with a new topic for you till then keep watching strat news global don't forget to like share and subscribe